such a trap that more than a dozen states have outlawed them, including New York and New Jersey. But people in those states are still getting loans this way, loans that they can never pay their way out of. Jorge Castro needed a few hundred dollars to finally fulfill his dream of being his family's first college graduate. Going to school for television production, it was time to celebrate his graduation. I need to buy a cap and gown. So all I needed was like $400. My parents were overexcited. Um, I just wanted them to be that day, see me in a cap and gown. And so he did what many do and went to the internet to find some quick cash. Interest like three, three, four times the amount of whatever the loan was, and I ended up paying for a $400 loan, like 1500 and something, almost $2,000. That's because Jorge's loan had an interest rate of 232%. This $9 billion industry known as payday lending is perfectly legal in 32 states, but totally illegal in New York and New Jersey because they charge interest rates of up to 1900 percent. This is a big problem in New York. We have a, a lot of people that need short-term loans. With more payday lenders in the U.S. than McDonald's restaurants, cash-strapped borrowers can easily dip in. Most can't get out. We have uh, a customer in our Bronx office that we know every so often will pledge one of her chains because she can't make it to payday. She needs to get a nebulizer for her son. Isaac Rodriguez runs a not-for-profit lender that's based on collateral. The Provident Loan Society is the nation's oldest pawn shop, and they're working to educate borrowers about interest rates that you can actually afford. Jorge fought back by taking financial literacy classes at the Neighborhood Trust. He learned how to budget, then fought his lender with letters, eventually getting $1,100 back. You got the whole thing back? Mm, I think a little, yes, I think I did. <laughs> Oh, yes, he did. He worked hard for that, too. New York State continues to take these lenders to court and extract fines from them. But now some of them have actually started partnering with Indian nations to be exempt from the regulations meant to protect consumers. Here's how to improve your credit. If you've defaulted on one of these loans, New York State has made it illegal for it to be on your credit report. You can have it removed. Take a financial literacy class to better budget and then improve your credit score. And to get access, you can go to more regulated personal loans with reasonable interest rates, like products from Goldman Sachs called Marcus or SoFi or Prosper. And if you're caught already in one of these payday loans, reach out to the Attorney General of New York and New Jersey. They will help walk you through the necessary letter writing to stop the loan, the payments, and maybe get your money back, including the interest, just like George did. Yeah. Absolutely. And speaking of the interest, okay, so just so we know, what is the interest rate? It's, where is it supposed to be at so we can compare it to what some people are being charged? In New York State, it's 16%. George was paying more than 200% on crazy. his. So you can see why you can't get out. If you're already in a tight situation yeah. and then the interest rate keeps being added on each month, you just can't get out of the loan. You're meant to fail. Yeah, even if you're paying a minimum payment, the interest is just yeah. killing you. Yeah, and a lot of them get access to your, your uh, checking account, so they're just drawing the money out automatically. It gets really bad really quick. Wow, so really what's good. the state doing? Are they suing them trying to get the they money are back? continue they're continuing to sue trying to get the money back but it's like a game of whack-a-mole each time they yeah. kind of take one down another one will pop up they'll repopulate themselves as a different company mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right good stuff Kirsten thank you